Hi all, my name is Rishitosh Kumar Chaudhary. I am from I Learning, and I am going to take this session on uh, social implementation. So, in the previous session, we have already seen how exactly Sockle world and how do we uh, actually use the uh, data retrieved from Sockle in our Apex code. So the same thing we will see in social what exactly social is and how we uh, how exactly do we do the um, implementation. So <clears throat> when I talk about social, uh, what exactly is social is? Social is nothing but a Salesforce object search language to construct text based uh, text based search queries against a search uh, index. Okay. So <clears throat> while building efficient social queries create filters that are selective. Okay, when I say selective, what exactly it means? Um, say, let's say for example, uh, when I'm writing a query, select ID from account, right? So are we specifying what type of account we want? No. How many accounts we want? No. So this is not a selective circle. Whereas we, when we write a condition, uh, select ID from account where email equal to this. So this is the selective circle, right? So same way in whenever we are writing, um, because we are specifying exactly the condition for which we want to retrieve the record, right? So uh, whenever we write any circle, uh, we have to provide a condition in where to make it selective. Okay. So not only this, Let's say, for example, if I am writing a query like uh, select ID from uh, account where name like AB I, in the single quote, I, I have just mentioned AB and after that I give percentage sent. So how many AB? There will be a lot of records in account where name will have AB, right? So again, this is not a selective circles. So instead of using that like operators, we should use uh, the equal to operators and see. Otherwise, it can be a problem for us. Now, let's say that uh, my organization is having more than 500 uh, file data or huge data. So in that case, I write a query saying select ID from account where not where I just add is uh, order by create order by uh, created date DESC limit 100, right? So we are ordering it such a huge record. First, it is going to retrieve it. Then it is going to order it. After ordering it, then it will create a limit and then it will give it to you. So using whatever condition I have explained, this is making our, because we only have 120 seconds to retrieve the record from uh, Salesforce. And uh, I have to uh, complete my trans. If my transaction is not completed by then, it will be timed out. So we have to make sure that we are not making these mistakes to make our queries and search language selective. So <clears throat> whenever we, um, whatever search we are doing, that search analyzes all the record in the index. And by default, only top 2000 match records are returned based on the relevancy, right? The API support pagination to fetch the additional matches as well over here. Sharing is applied after the result is returned for search stack. If you filter, uh, if your filter isn't selective and it can cause more than uh, 2000, it can return more than 2000 uh, record, there is a, uh, there is a possibility to running the search in crowding. So which is not good, right? So we will quickly see some example of, uh, first of all, we will see how exactly searching worked. Again, saying wh why exactly or how exactly our, uh, uh, social works uh, what uh, let's say for example that i have a text called abc and i want to search this text and i don't know in which exact object i have created this record so in those scenarios where i am not sure exactly where i have created this particular record in which object in those scenarios i use social so let's say for example uh, i have uh, there is a name called uh, xyz so XYZ is also having a contact. XYZ is also having an account. XYZ is also having uh, in, invoices. So the, uh, they, with this name, we have all these records. So in that case, what is going to happen? I'm not sure. 
exactly in which uh, object record I'm looking for, what will happen? It will, the saucer will retrieve the records from all these objects, wherever this particular key text word, whatever you're giving is found and it will uh, return to you. Okay. And from every object, you can go uh, in every, it will group everything in that object and return it to you. So let's say example that if I am retrieving it from five objects, the order in which I am pro I am writing my saucer, let's say find text in all fields, uh, returning account, contact, contract and invoices. So I, I, what we are going to get, we are going to get list of list as objects. Okay, and in the zeroth index, because I have written account first while re in return statement, zeroth index will be uh, storing the number of accounts. First index will be storing number of contact. Third index will be storing number of contracts. Fourth index will be storing is uh, will be storing number of invoices. Likewise, the order in which you give your return statement in the same orders. The record gets saved in the list of list as objects okay so uh, what is s objects uh, basically when we are unsure that which exactly uh, so s object is a data type for all the standard object and custom object so if i create s object s equal to contact new contact that will also work new account that will also work new custom any custom object is there in your system that will also work so combinedly if you want to declare a data type for all the standard and custom objects that is called s object okay fine now we will see a quick example here how exactly we write a saucer and then we proceed so where exactly we can write a saucer? Uh, we can write a saucer in uh, developer console. We can write a saucer inside a workbench as well. In workbench, if you can go in the query section, we will have an option for saucer search. In developer console, same place, wherever you have written your in your query editor, you can write your saucer. In uh, uh, basically in Salesforce, I, in the previous sessions, I have already explained how exactly we navigate to the Salesforce inspector. You will have to install the extension for that. So you can write a saucer over there as well. Okay. Now we will see exactly how do we write. See, if you are in a learning phase and you are not sure about your uh, syntaxes, so my recommendation will be use uh, using saucer once you have a hands-on over there uh, and you are have, you know all the syntaxes correctly then you can start writing in developer console or the salesforce inspectors so that's not a problem so basically if you want if i want to search a particular text uh, text called test in uh, all the fields i don't want to return that over here you can write which object you want to see i want to see it in account I, I okay in uh, what fields do you want to search i want to search in the name and id same way i want to search in in contact name and id fine so i do a search here so uh, you can see this particular text was present in uh, uh, it was present in contact record but a contact object but account we didn't have so what we are going to do we are going to quickly add a account with name as test so we have created a now if i search it one more time so you can see this test record is showing up and uh, if you see the sequence in which the record has been returned first account and then contact okay so this is how you write a saucer and we will see a few examples uh, how exactly we write it. So let's say for example, if I want to uh, just search particular text called, uh, let's say if I write a query over here, right? So if you're not sure how to build a query, you can use Workbench. Now let's say if I want to search find Okay, so find 
refreshed again. If I run the query like this, what is going to happen? Okay, so it will run in all by default. It will run in all the objects in all the available fields, and we will it will return. So for account, I have one record. For contact, I have one record, and for cases, I have four records. Okay. Now what is going to happen here? So let's say that this is for uh, this is we have only done when we are retrieving all the records. Now what is going to happen if I uh, run with uh, spaces? So let's see with the will the spaces work? So let's say if I run Rishi test, okay, yes. Rishi test also it is finding so that's uh, so one more thing this is not case sensitive okay this is not case sensitive if no matter which case you give it will find it, it will find the same records so it is treating this as a same basically it is treating Rishi test whatever uh, letter alignment you give uh, it will uh, capital or small it will search and it will uh, give you the same records okay now let's say if i want to over here how exactly you uh, so uh, i just want only in name field right in case if you will see this will be in uh, this particular text will be in subject or something like that right but i want to only see it in name field so find whatever text you want and again that name uh, whatever fields you want so uh, right now i want in name fields returning let's say contact So like this, you can execute it You find only one record has been returned because we don't have a test field in name in uh, case. So even if, if I run this like this, okay, so I have few cases with test name, I feel. So let's quickly check one and find it out if it is true. Okay, maybe this only the Salesforce inspector only accept these sockets. They do not accept the sources. So avoid using it in the Salesforce in inspector, but you can use these two places to write your sources search. Okay. Yes. So in the Subject itself, it's there. That's why it's showing up. Detail is over here. Subject. So it's searching in subject itself. Okay. Uh, let's say if I want to return, uh, where did it go? If I want to write a query and I want to return, returning the object also, I, I want to mention. I give the object name after returning. Okay, let's say I want a particular fields, whatever they are returning. So let's say if I want contact names with that, what I will do contact name from a email. Okay, so I'll execute this. So it will give me all the fields which you want to retrieve from that particular record which is matching the search right so likewise if i want to uh, if i want to give a particular condition let's say uh, i want to give a condition for where uh, email is not equal to null right so over here you can see the first record does not have an email so if i run the query like this
रिटर्निंग कॉन्टैक्ट This is correct. I think this is not wrong. <laughs> oh, email, email. This thing feel I I have missed. That's why. Okay, so we can add a where condition inside the uh, whatever objects you are retrieving. We can add a where condition over there itself. All right. Now, what? Uh, how exactly? Uh, let's say. if you want to uh, add and or or you can do that as well so how will i show you this let's say i want to add delimiters inside the search i want to search test or rishi execute what is this okay it gave me so, so i don't know it was there was some error from uh, developer console on as it on so we can use this as well i will use the same query over here in workbench to make more sense no okay so it is returning the field same way if i want everywhere which has rishi and test uh basically i want to concatenate two things this is also possible okay so this is also this also we can do we can also use some um, basically we can use the uh, special characters here as well let's say i want to search everything which uh, starts with uh, test okay so that also i can do okay let's uh, remove the returning part here okay so whatever is having test or starting with test it will return all those things uh, let's say if i want uh, uh, basically if i do a text over here so what is it going to match it's going uh fine so i'll test i'll tell you what is it going to match so it says t after that any element is there it doesn't matter then st so it will match what what records it might match it will match test it will also match taste it will also match everything so whatever element is there in the second part a uh, second uh, letter it doesn't matter now okay so let's say we'll take a quick example so over here i will create a new case a new basically i want to clone this thing but let's fine i'll create a new one and give it t a s t and save okay so you can see it has retrieved that record as well so um, same way there are many characters which you can find it out and see but these are the ones which are really important uh, i guess i've covered uh, i've covered it uh, covered everything here now we will move uh to see how exactly whatever data we are getting how exactly we uh, no one more thing i want to do i want to show you how exactly we used to get this particular records uh inside a inside my queries uh inside my uh, apex code
So what I'm going to do, if I'm retrieving a saucer, it has to be retrieved in list of list s uh, s object. Okay. It has to be written in single quotes. Now I'll give this query and let's see system dot debug. Let's execute uh, a test normal test like this. What is this? 